Hello, in this video tutorial I show you how you can use the 3D object converter. Please note that the 3D object converter tools are only available in the product versions Catvilla Professional and Catvilla Professional Plus. This tool allows you to import a 3DS object from any source including the internet. Please make sure that you don't infringe copyright laws when you download a 3DS file. In the first step I show you how you import a 3DS file. Therefore we select 3D functions and load 3D objects. The 3D converter opens and we can select a 3DS file with a single left mouse click. In our example the 3DS file is a wardrobe. Several 3D file formats are supported, including 3DS, 3D DXF, Lightwave objects and Wavefront objects. We maximize the 3D converter a little bit And now we can take a first look at our 3DS subject. We can select any surface on our object and we will see an entry in the object tree highlight. You can expand the entry of each component to see the material assigned to that surface. To edit the material we make a double mouse click on it. Here we could select a color for our texture. Or we make a left mouse click into the field texture and we select a texture out of our browser. We select the texture wood and after it we press OK. At the field diffuse portion we enter 100% and at the field combine color and texture we enter 0%. After it we can press OK. Now most parts of the wardrobe are colored with our texture. That's because in this 3DS file most of the parts are connected with the part we just defined. That means if I change the color of this part I will also change the color of the other parts. The surfaces which still have the old color were not connected with the surface we just defined. We can also change the color of these surfaces. Therefore we select the surface. We open again the material menu. The material editor opens. We select the texture. We set the diffuse portion to 100% and combine color and texture to 0%. We press OK. And now also this surface and the surface in the middle are defined with the wooden texture. We don't change the color of these two textures because we will delete them in the next step. In the next step we will change our a little bit antique looking wardrobe to a new modern wardrobe. To get the new look for our wardrobe we delete all objects we don't need anymore. We select an object and we deselect it in the menu. We select the next object and we also deselect it. To make a not too long video we fast forward now till we have deselect all objects we don't need anymore. 
Here at this menu you can change between different 3D views. We select a wireframe because sometimes it's easier to catch objects or surfaces with the wireframe. Now we have deleted all objects of our wardrobe we don't need anymore. It looks now modern and not anymore antique. Now we change the properties of the glass because it's still a little bit too transparent. Therefore we select the glass surface and we open the material editor. We select a color for example silver for a silverette look and we press OK. We enter for the transparency 10% and we press OK. The glass surface has now a silverette look and only a minimal transparency. We can also rotate a texture and we can change its size. Therefore we select a texture we click on this symbol and here we can change the width and the height of the texture and we can rotate the texture. We click again on the symbol to close the menu. There is also the possibility to add textures from our catalog to the 3DS subject. We select for example materials materials, wood and now we could select a wood texture and we could drag it to our 3DS object. In the next step we save our 3DS object to our catalog. Therefore we select save as, we click on catalog we select the folder Objects and here we create a new folder. We type in a name for our folder, in our example Tutorial Objects and we can press OK. Now we select the Tutorial Objects folder we type in a name for our 3DS object, for example Object 1 and we can press OK. The object was successfully saved and we press again OK. One important point when you save a 3D object is the Windows User Account Control. If the account control is activated, it's possible that your 3DS file gets saved to a temporary folder, not to the folder you have chosen for it. If this happens to you, you can find your objects under the displayed file path. You can of course also make different versions of your 3D objects and save them to different places. Now we open our 3DS file in our catalog. Therefore we select Objects. We open the folder Tutorial Objects and we select our wardrobe with a double mouse click on it. At the preview window we can take a look at our wardrobe. At the point Details we can see that the points width, high and deep are not correct defined. 
The width and the high are nearly 10 meters and the deep is 2.50 meters. We close the window and we change at the point properties the high to 2 meters. Now we make a right mouse click at our 3DS subject and we select Show All. Our 3D object has now the correct size and we click again on Save As. We select Catalog, Objects, Tutorial Objects and we click on Object 1. We press OK, OK and OK. Our wardrobe is now finished defined and saved and we can import it now to our model home. Before we import our 3D object we select the 2D view and we click on upper floor, make a right mouse click and select set as current element. We deselect the ground floor and the attic and after it we select the 3D view. Here we deselect the layer attic and we zoom into the correct position. We want to place our wardrobe here into this corner. We select the 2D view, click on Catalog, Tutorial Objects and we drag our wardrobe to the 2D view. With the shortcut W we can show or hide the tool options window. And when we scroll on the mouse wheel, we can turn our 3D object. We turn it for 90 degrees and we press the left mouse button to drop our 3D object. After it, we press Escape. Now we zoom a little bit into the view. We select our object. Click on Move with Reference Point. This is our reference point and we move it into the corner. We press Escape. And now we can take a look at our 3D object imported into our model home. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials, visit our website catvilla.com.